when you're uploading a YouTube video, you know, when you get to the, the final stage called visibility and then you click on um, either when you click public, you see this option called set as instant premiere, or if you click on schedule, uh, you know, you schedule for a date in the future and you can also click set as premiere if you want to. Okay. And you could click, click set a premiere with um, countdown length and, uh, you, you know, you could, you could check out these options. Okay. Now, the reason why I don't, I almost, I think I've done that like once or twice is because when you set it up as a premiere, it, it's like a big deal to your audience. It's like, it's like a grand, I, I actually, this is a good example. It's like a grand opening or it's like a special event, right? And so you should use it very sparingly. Um, you know, people do it when they're like have a special announcement or when it's a very special video that they've spent more time creating and editing and all that stuff. And they don't do that very often. So they want to make sure people see it. Like it's a, it's an ex, it gets an extra boost uh, in the algorithm, but it's, double-edged sword, right? Because it's George of an extra boost. Why wouldn't you click that all the time? Well, it's like, have you seen those stores where you walk by and they still have a grand opening five years later? You've seen that? <laughs> I've seen those. I'm like, oh, well, I don't trust you anymore. Or, or um, you know what I mean? Like it, it erodes trust a lot. Or it's like the, the, the boy who cried wolf. Wolf, wolf. Every, every single video is wolf. <laughs> every single video is like premiere, premiere. Then people go, whatever. And then what happens is if they go, whatever, and they go, oh, this premiere wasn't that special. You see what I mean? Like this premiere isn't better than any of your other videos. Then what they do is they stop clicking on your videos or they definitely stop. They stop. They start ignoring your premieres. And when, when they start ignoring your premieres, it downgrades your algorithm for everybody else. So do use premiere for special to truly. So you want to do it when you feel like it's going to be worth it for the people who watch it. They're going to be, oh, I'm so glad that this, that the, that the, I, I especially, I'm so glad that this video took extra space in terms of the algorithm. Not doesn't, it's not bigger than the other one suggested, but it says, oh, the other thing, when you set up a premiere, um, people can like go there and wait. And the premiere can be like days, days before I've seen, I've, I've gone on premieres where it's like, you know, five people are waiting and it's like two days from now or something like that. They just keep their YouTube open for like a couple of days. I mean, they can turn off their computer, but when they open it up, it's still there on the browser and they're still. So it's, it's really, to me, it's more, um, and it's also more of an experience. That's, I should mention that. Like, like, so really to me, it's more for like bigger audiences. People with bigger audiences are creating kind of like a live community event. It's like a premiere, like, like, Hey, let's all show up. Like, I mean, for example, um, when they release a movie, right? When they re when Hollywood releases a movie, they don't just go like they just don't they just don't randomly release it. They like promote the date. Oh, it's going to be the, and they have like a special showing of the movie where every, all the fans are really excited and they line up and they, maybe fans have a party afterwards or that's like that. Maybe not a, you don't have to be Hollywood level, but it's like that for your fans. So just consider what that means for your. For your video process and uh anyway i hope this is helpful and anybody else who has experience with the youtube premieres uh either as a viewer or as a creator please let us know below